Hello, welcome to PyPad Mathematics. This is Professor Lamb, and we are going to explore place value uh, using the Fred Ventura uh, hands on math iPad app uh, for base 10 blocks from Ventura Educational Systems. And what you can go is to the settings, and in the settings, if you notice, there's a sliding bar and you can have the column headings be hundreds, tens, ones, hundreds, tens, ones, and symbols at one decimal place and at two decimal places. So when we go to two decimal places, if you notice we have our ones, our tenths, and our hundredths in words and in decimal format. And if we go to one decimal place, we have tens, ones, and tenths tens, ones, and tens in numbers and in word format. And I prefer flats, longs, and units using that language when you're talking about base 10 blocks. However, this app does do a good job of helping students connect those words, flats, longs, and units, and what exactly is the whole. And remember the whole is your ones place. Whatever block represents one, that makes it your whole. So for place value, I'm going to go back to uh, flats, longs, and units. Um, I guess I'll, I'll make it hundreds, tens, and ones with zero decimal places. We'll go back to the home, and we'll hit our green arrow and start. Now, aspects of this, you can simply model the numbers, where we have, say, 231. We can model those numbers or you can press the green button here and it'll give you a number that you can see the tens and the ones will make 91 nine tens and one one uh, this is nice if you're using it as a display in the classroom to help quickly get a number and they can make it at their desks with their own base 10 blocks or you can uh, you can hide the the 291 um, and they can tell you what numbers they are. Uh, you can also do addition and subtraction. Here's addition. Uh, you click the green button or you keep clicking the plus sign and it gives you new problems to work. The one thing I don't like about this app is that it sticks with three digit plus a three digit or a three digit minus a three digit. And one thing I don't like about that is you depending on the level that you're teaching you may want to do a two digit plus two digit or a two digit plus a one digit and have that freedom to change the problem that it, that you're trying to model but this app will help guide through the instruction of addition of three digit and subtraction of three digit numbers now with that uh, I like this app uh, or one functionality of this app is say this problem 526 minus 250 well, I make 526, 3, 4, 500, 2 longs or 2 tens, and then 6 units. And so I add that to our, uh, our mat, and I want to subtract 250. Well, I start with the ones column, and I'm subtracting 0, so I don't need to remove or take away any of the ones. With the tens column, I am to remove five, but I only have two. I don't have enough to remove five. In this language of using remove five and don't have enough to take away is ideal in students understanding that we need enough to subtract five. We need enough longs to subtract five longs from it. When we say things like we can't subtract 5 from 2, then that builds a misconception in the student's knowledge that you can't subtract a larger number from a smaller one. That's incorrect. When we bring in integers and negative numbers, we can subtract a larger from a smaller, and the result is a negative number, an opposite, uh, a number or opposite of the whole numbers. So here when we are subtracting in our algorithm, the idea is we have two tens or two longs and we need to remove five. Well, we don't have enough, so we need to exchange. We need to decompose a 100 into 10 
of the of the longs or ten tens and then I can remove five I take this and I drag it off my screen and it removes it so that's one two three four five now I have subtracted five leaving the seven in the tens column and now we go to the hundreds column five minus two remember that's five hundreds and then I need to subtract two. Well, I've already exchanged one, so in our algorithm we would have crossed through the five and then put a four up there, showing the four that we have left here, and we need to remove ten. I, I mean two. I need to take away two. So I take away one hundred and then two hundred. And my answer is two hundred seventy six. And we can check it, and it says we get a star. We got it correct. So you do that with addition problems, you do that with subtraction problems, you can just model numbers with this. So this app, the Ventura app from uh, Ventura Math, I believe is a very good app to help build that conceptual understanding of place value. There are some things that I would like to see better in the app, but as time goes it may improve. But again, this is Professor Lamb with PyPad Mathematics.